It's been close to a year since Google's first entry into smart speakers with the Google Home, and a lot has happened since then as they added tons of new abilities and features. But so has competition. Last week, Google unveiled new additions to the Home lineup with the larger Home Max and the smaller Home Mini. So we spent about a few days getting to know the Google Home Mini, and it's time to dive in to see what a difference a year makes. So let's talk about its look. The Google Home Mini utilizes a lightweight cloth top with a plastic undercarriage and a rubber footing. So it's an overall clean design other than a mute switch and a micro USB port. Micro USB, yes I know, should have been USB-C, but maybe next year. The cloth top acts like the original Home where it's touch sensitive. Tap the center to play pause, long press to activate Google Assistant. Tap the left side for volume down and right for volume up. Now let's talk about the sound. So it being a pretty small speaker, 360 degree speaker with 40 millimeter drivers, about a little smaller than a donut with far field microphones, you might think the sound may not be that great, but the sound is actually really, really good. Hey Google, do you believe in climate change? It sounds pretty scary. There's lots of information on it on the web. Just ask. Wow. This year, Google made sure to add a lot more features and abilities to the Google Home products. So now there's a lot more that you can do with it. So you can ask about the weather, set an alarm, stream content, Google anything, call an Uber, order Domino's, set reminders, create a shopping list. Use your own phone number when making phone calls on Google Home. Previously, it was unlisted number. Broadcast announcements to your speaker or other speakers. Get your morning updates with calendar news, weather. Send info slash search results to your phone. You can find your phone. Turn off your Chromecast connected TV. Now you have 50 games and puzzles as well as Disney stories that can be read to your kids. Smart home support with Hue lights. And now you can do a little bit more with Nest with, uh, you know, changing the temperature as well as accessing streams from the Nest Cam and the new Nest doorbell. One of the cool things with, about the Google Home Mini is that there's really no limitations in its abilities. You can still make phone calls and do everything you can do on the Google Home, but just on a smaller package. Uh, the only noteworthy difference will be the sound. So when you're playing music and doing different things, the regular home does pack a bigger punch with a lot more treble and bass. Here's how the two compare sound-wise. So the marketing behind the Home Mini is small and mighty, so it's definitely a suitable slogan as, other than a bigger sound, you have no compromise with the smaller version of the Google Home. All at a fraction of the price, or damn near half the price, is now $49, while the regular Home is now $109. And those of you who pre-order the Pixel 2, you can pretty much grab a Mini for free when you do so, so that's also cool. Um, you can still see all of your data at Google stores on myactivity.google.com and you can still mute the home mini when not in use. So other than that, I really have no reason to tell you not to pick one up. Thank you for watching. We appreciate you. You could have been anywhere in the world to hear with us and take care.